What's going on everybody? Jade up here. Today's video is going to be over uh, the build I used for female hard mode. I'll be going the, over the gear, the CP, and the skills I use for each individual fight. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Because nobody likes their time being wasted. So as you can see, I'm at 14. Uh, 14k magic recovery, 32k health, 24k stam. I'm at 900 recovery. My physical and spell resistance at 26 and 22. And if I buff up, if I can hit Y, there we go. I'm at 31 and 27. And then when our blood spawn procs will be sitting well over cap. So as our first monster set, we're going to be using. And the only one we're really going to be using in female hard mode is blood spawn. I have my helmet on sturdy and then my shoulders are reinforced. Reinforced, excuse me. Our first set of five piece we're wearing is uh, Torx pack with our chest and our legs infused. And then we have our smaller pieces and sturdy and every enchant on here is health is max health, excuse me. Now our first set of jewelry is going to be uh, Alkosh, our second five piece set, excuse me. It's going to be uh, Alkosh. We do have an infused magic recovery, just kind of boost that magic recovery up. Our other two rings are going to be robust. And we're going to have one shield play on and then one uh, speed pot on. You could also do two magic recovery just to kind of get close to a thousand. Or you can run two uh, shield play or two accelerate pots. It, it really, or, excuse me, uh, speed pot enchants. It's totally preference when it comes to enchants. I've been, I say this all the time. It's, it's totally preference that not one, like you can use this setup and you may not even like it. So if you feel like you need or want more shield play, then go for it. If you feel like you want your pots to be on a quicker cooldown, then put speed pots down. Or if you want less shit ton of magic recovery, then put three magic recoveries. It's totally preference and it's up to you. This is just what I like using. Now, our weapons are going to be uh, both infused crusher. Uh, I like this just to kind of keep that crusher inch hand up with the blockade and stuff on the boss fights. Once I get my wood cutting up and some money, I'll be able to gold this out. But for now, I'm poor and don't have resources for it. As far as shield, I'm on a sturdy uh, with a stamina enchant on it. Now, we'll go right into skills for the same setup. Now, I am using Torogs and Alkosh, and this is for at least the first boss and the last boss as far as the armor goes. As far as the skills, this is what I use um, for the first boss. So I use Pierce Armor, Grease Dragon Blood, Engulfing Flames, Igneous Shields, Heroic Slash, and of course, Aggressive Warhorn. My back bar, I have Inner Rage, the Magic Morph, at Balance, Talents for the Cats, Blockade, Chains to help pull in the cats, and the Magma just in case. Now let's go ahead and go for just a regular V-Maw pull. Now this is what I run for our trash pulls. Still running our blood spawn. The only difference is I just changed to Ebon, which I have uh, obviously on the body pieces. And this is just what I got. Um, what I would want is to infuse chest and legs and then sturdy on the smaller pieces. Excuse me, but what I do have is thirty chest, well fitted uh, boots and glo or bo excuse me, boots and belts, uh, sturdy gloves and legs and fuse. And then of course the uh, jewelry is the same, and so the weapons and all that. As far as skills go, the front skills are still going to be the same. The only back is that I'm going to change is I'm taking off talents and throwing on uh, rapids. Now this is just a quick way to get from point A to point B in the quickest manner. 
So, let's go into the last boss. Now the last boss, we do end up going into Bloodspawn, Korogs again, and then Alkosh. And then as far as my skills go, the front skills are the same. And the back skills are almost the same. Oops, I gotta change this. There we go. What's already on there? So this would be my front bar, and then this would be my back bar. The only difference is I move engulfing to my back bar, and then I throw on um, the altar. I will be changing this uh, after this video to the other one. But, uh, but yeah, you're just going to want altar, engulfing, blockade, obviously. I throw balance on my back bar. I used to have it on my front bar. Uh, but 90% of my magic skills are on my back bar. That's why I changed it to my back bar. And then my front bar only have two skills at the very most. And then if a golfing comes three. So it's not on my back bar, nothing but magicka. So that's why I changed balance that way. So that's the gear and the skills. We'll go on to CP. We'll start with red CP first since that's what 90% of people want to see anyways. For right now I have 72 ironclad, 10 in the spell shield, 34 in a thick skin. 49, 49 Ellie and Hardy. And then I have 19 recovery and then 27 heavy armor focus. As far as this go, I have two in break free, which I'm thinking about taking out and putting somewhere else. But then I have 16 in the sprinter, 75 into Arcanus, 64 in Tenacity, 31 in the tumbling, 72 into the Shadow Ward. Blucher at 76, and Bless 64 in Elfborn. I have none in the rest, and then I have 72 precise strikes, 84 piercing. It's mainly just to get the last stand. When you fall below 20% health, you gain major heroism, granting three ultimate every 1.5 seconds for eight seconds. This effect can occur once every 20 seconds. And I mean, this does help out. It helps out a lot in Vet Cloud Rest sometimes on hard mode. Uh, I just recently changed it to this, and it's been helping out quite a bit. It's, uh, it's a really nice passive to have. And I've just always kept it. The only thing I really change during trials is from Cloud Rest. I usually keep the majority of this the same throughout every trial I do. The only difference is I change this dramatically when I play uh, Cloud Rest Plus 3. I think that's about it. As far as monster sets go, um, I would suggest either doing Bloodspawn, Lord Warden, or Earth Gore. If you, uh, if you hurt for resources like a lot, I would suggest going swap into Engine Guardian. There's literally no harm in all doing Engine Guardian. You feel like it doesn't matter. As long as you can pop up your Warhorn when it's needed, you should be fine. If somebody makes fun of you, tell them to piss off. Like whatever as long as you're doing your job and you're doing it right you're fine as far as character sheet we can go ahead and look at this uh, we are a stage 4 vampire we are using the lord just for the extra max health because we don't really get that as a passive um honor slingers just alkosh and then we are using tricep food as far as pots go we are using where are they at there we are we're using the tricep pots for the majority of it. Uh, if you're doing trash pulls and stuff like that, you can use tra you can use trash pots if you want. I use them sometimes. Just depends on how low I am on money and stuff, <laughs> whether or not I use them. Other than that, that's about it for the video. I want to thank you guys for watching, and uh, I did get a request from I cannot remember the name, but I did get a request to do a guide on. The main tank and off tank um, builds as far as what gear they're going to run for each individual trial. So I will be working on that here in the next few days. Hopefully I'll have that up by this weekend. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. Enjoy this video and we'll, we'll see you next video. We'll see you in the next video. Excuse me.